If you look up how to find the perimeter of a rectangle, you can usually find several different methods, such as perimeter is twice the length plus twice the width, or perimeter is twice the sum of one length and one width, or simply perimeter is the sum of all the edges. If all of these methods work, they should all give us the same result, which is what we're going to test here today. To do that, we're going to use this rectangle here with dimensions of 5 inches by 3 inches. For the purposes of what we're doing, we're going to treat 5 inches as our length and 3 inches as our width. Let's start by finding the sum of all of our edges. When we do that, I would add 5 plus 3 plus 5 plus 3. This would give me a total of 16 inches for my perimeter. If all of our methods are the same, they should all give us the same result. So let's compare that to perimeter is twice the length plus twice the width. This means I would need to multiply 2 times 5, multiply 2 times 3, and add those values together. 2 times 5 is 10, 2 times 3 is 6, 10 plus 6 gives me 16, so this also gives me a perimeter of 16 inches. These methods come out to be the same for a couple different reasons. First off, addition is commutative, which means we can add in any order and get the same result. So I could write my addition problem as 5 plus 5 plus 3 plus 3. I also know that multiplication is another way to do repeated addition. So instead of writing it as 5 plus 5, I could rewrite it as 2 times 5. And instead of writing it as 3 times 3, I could rewrite it as 2 times 3, which brings us back to exactly twice the length plus twice the width. Now let's compare those two perimeter is twice the sum of one length and one width. On a rectangle, both lengths are the same and both widths are the same. So if I add one length plus one width, this will give me a result of 8. I can then double that 8 to get 16 inches because I know the other half of the rectangle would also be worth 8 inches. So therefore, doubling the sum of one length and one width gives me the same result as simply finding the sum of all the edges. Another shape that frequently has different ways to find the perimeter is a square. Instead of seeing a square written as the sum of all the edges, you can also see people finding the perimeter by doing four times the side length. This is because on a square, all the edges are the same. This square has edges that are worth two inches each. So if I add them up, two plus two plus two plus two would give me a total of eight inches. If I did four times the side length to find the perimeter, that would mean I multiply four times two, which also gives me a perimeter of eight inches, because as we know, multiplication is another way to do repeated addition. So no matter which of these methods you use to find the perimeter of a rectangle and square, they all come down to the same idea, the perimeter is the sum of all of the edges. Mm -hmm.